liposuction should be for a person that is in great shape, who exercises, who diets, and no matter what they do, they can even be gaunt to the point that they lose, they're actually underweight. But what happens, it does not change the shape of the body when you lose weight. Have you ever had it done on you? No. Mm. You, do you think I need it? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, we haven't seen your knees, though, before, so we don't I haven't know. seen my love handles, either. <laughs> and Dr. Sobel's a bachelor, so he's in the thing there trying to... <sighs> Now, Shannon said she'd heard of an operation where they take fat from your hips and put it into your breasts. <laughs> Who does, do you do that? That's a, that's a very questionable procedure. Some people do do it, uh, but the problem with that is, first of all, when you transfer fat, and I transfer fat to the lips or wrinkle lines, it doesn't last forever. Probably 50% lasts at a, at a year point. And then the, uh, probably another 25% will last permanently. See, so, Shani, you'd be buying a new bra every week. But I think, Sally, <laughs> I think it's very important to know when you transfer fat into a breast area, sometimes the fat will become calcified. And uh, if it does become calcified, at a later date when you do mammography, you, they may be confused. Is it a calcification because you have a premalignant or malignant lesion? Yeah. Or is it the fat that became calcified? Shani, you don't so for that reason no. alone, I don't do it, even though some people actually do the procedure and it's not permanent so I don't recommend recommend taking fat from the thigh and putting it into a breast